India, the largest democracy in the world, is well known for its rich heritage and biodiversity. Maharashtra is the third largest state in India. Pune Pune is the second largest city in the central western part of Maharashtra. Also known as Oxford of East, Pune is the cultural capital of Maharashtra. With population more than 6 million people, it is fast emerging as a manufacturing and information technology center. Bhigwan is one of the largest water bodies to the east of Pune. The dry, barren looking habitats of Indapur and Baramati to the southeast, grasslands of Saswar to the south, and rich hill forests of Kathraj and Siyagar Fort. Pune is an eco tone region intersection of two eco-zones. It has western ghats on one side and Deccan plateau on the other. The western ghats are one of the world's biodiversity hotspots. Uh, the Magalapata city group uh, always laid nature, conservation of environment. It was one of the uh, five pillars when we planned this entire township or all the subsequent townships where nature was given topmost priority. So we have always been in tune with nature right from the beginning. Uh, we have a lot of uh, rich wildlife around the city. You know, and our entire intention was to uh, give an opportunity for the people to know what we know as a common layman is that, uh, you know, if you talk about wildlife, it is Bandipur or it is somewhere in the north or you have to go to uh, Nagpur, you know, that is what we know. But just half an hour away from our homes, one hour away from our homes, there are such habitats which need uh, to be visited where we can go and really see the uh, richness of the entire wildlife which is there. And that is why uh, we, when we came in touch with Jungle Bells, we coordinated, we said let's make a film, let's show it to the people and let them understand that this is what we have in our own city and this is what we should do. With unique geographical location, the region is surrounded by diverse habitats like forests, grasslands, gardens, plantations and some unique freshwater ecosystems. Pune is situated on the bank of two rivers, Mula and Mutha. Major water bodies include Pashan Lake, Kharakvasla, Veer Dam and Lunavla. It is surrounded by other smaller water bodies and various grasslands or scrublands. Grasslands are often neglected but most interesting habitats. This habitat supports some very unique birds and mammals. These diverse habitats support a rich flora and fauna. Butterflies play an important role in pollination. 204 different butterfly species have been recorded in Pune region. Small is beautiful.
as you go few kilometers away from the city in any direction. The habitat changes and so does the wildlife. Some animals are seldom seen, but they leave tracks behind. Arachnids are an important aspect of ecology. They help maintain balance by controlling the insect population. This is the giant wood spider. Their web is one of the strongest natural fibers in the world. There are at least 70 different species of spiders in Pune region. Amphibians are creatures that require both land and water to complete their life cycle. Pune is home to more than 10 different species of frogs and toads. Frogs and toads are an integral part of the food chain and play an important role in controlling the pest population. Pune is home to over 50 species of reptiles including skinks, geckos and lizards. A variety of bird species are found in Pune. They include various sunbirds, babblers, bulbuls, barbets, fulvetas, thrushes, flycatchers and many more. Many birds are attracted to small water holes, especially during summertime. Flamingos are very social birds. Flamingos get their pink color from their food. Flamingos are filter feeders and turn their heads upside down to eat. Some birds are usually found near water bodies. They mainly eat fishes and other small insects. These include river tern, ibis, storks, herons, ducks, spoonbill, snipes, etc. Spoonbill enjoying a big meal.
ग्रे हेरन Greta painted Snipe Male and the Chick. A beautiful red munia. This red colored dove is busy in preening activity. painted sand grouse a rain quail male trying to advertise its presence shikra eurasian sparrow hawk usually hunts small birds Some birds travel thousands of kilometers during winter migration. Species like Amur falcon and lesser kestrel visit some unique habitats near Pune. Both male and female try to eat as many insects as possible before the next leg of their journey. Various harriers also visit the grasslands near Pune during winter months. This is a Montague Harrier's female. This is the male. This is a pallid harrier. Crested Serpent Eagle is a resident bird. Crested Hawk Eagle is a bird of prey. It is an agile forest-dwelling predator. It eats a variety of prey species including birds, small mammals and reptiles. Bonelli's eagle is a large and powerful bird of prey. It usually hunts small mammals. Osprey almost exclusively eat fish and is found near large water bodies. Spotted owlets are resident birds and mainly feed on rodents. Spotted owlets are nocturnal. Nocturnal means active at night. A short-eared owl is a diurnal bird with a wingspan of about a meter. A tree shrew. More than 22 mammal species have been recorded in Pune. Small herbivores include squirrels, mongoose, tree shrews and Indian hare. Hanuman langur is a species of primate. The majority of their diet is leaves.
Indian gazelle is also known as chinkara. It is one of the smallest antelopes found in India. Swift and agile runners, they roam long distances within their habitat. It is a key prey species for the grassland predators. It is a Schedule 3 animal and has special protection under the Forest Act. Foxes are perhaps the cutest looking mammals of the grasslands. Besides hunting small birds, they also scavenge on other dead animals. When they are not sleeping, pups play outside the den. The search for food is a constant activity. They are curious about everything around them. Golden Jackal is a medium-sized omnivorous mammal. They belong to the Canid family. Golden jackals often scavenge around towns and villages. Hyena are nocturnal and highly secretive mammals of the grassland. They are scavengers and opportunistic hunters. This hyena subadult is waiting for its mother. It still depends on its mother for food and protection. A jungle cat. Like other nocturnal animals, jungle cats are very secretive. Leopards are the epitome of adaptation. They have adapted to various habitats around human settlements. In a nearby grassland, this young leopard cub is trying to enhance its stalking skills. Under the able guidance of their mother, these cubs will soon master the art of living in the wild. Wolf is the apex predator of the grassland habitat. It feeds mainly on small herbivores like Indian hare, chinkara, and livestock. Like other carnivores, they too are opportunistic. Breeding season starts in September.
and four to six pups are usually born in the month of December. Pups are totally depending on their mother's milk for the first four to six weeks. Pups grow up fast. Unfortunately, less than 50% survive the first six to eight months. They love to explore the surrounding when adults are not around. As they grow, they join the pack, roam around their territory and even take part in hunting. The strength of the wolf is the pack. Together, they are a formidable force. Soon, some of these sub-adults will separate from the pack and search for their own territory. This magnificent animal and its habitat need to be protected. Habitat loss and poaching are the main threats to the wildlife. Forests, they are essential for people, climate and wildlife. We depend on forests for our survival, from the air we breathe to the wood we use. They provide ecosystem services that are critical to human welfare. We need to safeguard our forests. As a Punekar, we are very lucky to just come out of your home and everything you will find out of the biodiversity of Pune. What we don't have, we have our gardens, we have our plantations, we have our fantastic regions, we have our hills, we have our water bodies, we have our rivers, although many people don't see the river as such when the water is flowing, but still everything is there in Pune. Forest department, many NGOs, they are doing the good work over there. What we want to do, we have to just conserve the biodiversity. And before that, we have to understand what our biodiversity is and what far we are supposed to conserve it. A very nice initiative to save this biodiversity and this nature has been started by Mr. Mugger and the Mugger Patta city developers. Same time, Forest Department of Pune is doing a lot of good work. Now it's my sincere request to all the citizens of Pune, all the netizens of Pune, all the lovers that just think of our biodiversity and try to conserve it in your own way. There are different ways to conserve the biodiversity. All the time you do not go to the forest area. You can meet the people, you can meet the forest officer, you can speak with the NGOs, but just try to conserve this biodiversity and that will be a great thing for your own future. And it's a really great initiative to start this awareness campaigns among the Punis and I am sure each and every one of you will be the part of this Save Pune, Save Nature, Save Biodiversity campaign and just to create the awareness among the Pune people. And my best wishes for this awareness film.